I'm Gilda Barabino and I stand for equality. Without equality, we won't have true justice to change the world. I was the kind of kid who was always taken by education, reading, learning, learning, just learning for the sake of learning. When I was in the third grade, even though there was a white school walking distance to our house, we had to walk past that school to go to an old dilapidated school that was for blacks. Again, that was some of my early indications that, hmm, it's, the world might be different for people of color and African Americans in particular. Fast forward a bit to I'm in high school, and I remember pretty vividly high school chemistry. And the high school chemistry teacher made it a point to say that he didn't think chemistry was for girls. Again, looking back and, and, and just my inner drives and who I was, like, ha, huh, I'll show you. You can't tell me that I can't do chemistry. So when I started my um, academic career at Northeastern University in Boston, obviously the students hadn't heard that there was a new faculty member who happened to be an African American female. And I went out in the hall and I said to the students, um, are you here for Chemical Engineering 1421? And uh, they said, yeah, but there's no teacher here. But it was very clear to me, they peeped in, they saw this African American woman in the classroom and assumed that the instructor was missing. So as I was pursuing my career, I realized that it might be different for me than it may be for uh, others. So if you're approaching an area where there are not role models who look like you or share your background, it's an extra burden actually to remain motivated and to continue. I found it helpful to first better understand the nature of biased behaviors, for example. What drives the behaviors in others? Because it's actually the behaviors that we need to, to change. And in order to change them or find out the, or pursue the best ways to change them, you have to first understand them. In my own life, one way to start out in terms of reaching out to make it better is to lead by example. Also, to use a position of authority in a way that it's for the service of others. We can't make a difference if it's all about being self-serving. We are here to serve others. And in doing so, you will absolutely make a difference when we put others first and we put the mission first. And that's what I try to do in my role. When I see the behaviors that are going on now and the, the, the violence um, and, and some what looks like the disregard for black lives in particular, I experienced this really profound sense of sadness. And, but not hopelessness. We have to be vigilant. We can't pretend that it's post-racial society, for example. We have to continue to point out what's going on, to be vocal about it, to have allies. We have to speak out, we, and we have to do something. It's not just good enough to just talk about these things. We need action. I am very conscious and aware of images, and I'm disheartened oftentimes about how African American women are portrayed in many ways, in many venues, uh, in our community and out. We can't control all of the images that are out there. The way I look at it and the way I try to work at it is to do what I can to make sure that we have a broader range of images and that our young women in particular and the broader community actually not just other women 
see African American women portrayed in many different ways. I'm spending a lot of time uh, thinking about what is it that we need to do to make a difference in the world? Like really, how do we change things? And I keep going back to, let's go back to the fundamentals about people and how people behave. Let's fix that, because if we don't change those behaviors, you can have all the programs you want, it's not really gonna make a difference. I really would like to uh, impart to our young women and, and young underrepresented minorities or anyone from any underrepresented or underserved group. There really is absolutely nothing to hold us back to achieve those dreams, and we need to dream big.